today we will be learning about related facts. If you don't know what related facts are, let me define it for you. Related facts are addition and subtraction facts that share the same number. If I have a number, one plus three is equal to four, that means that three plus one is equal to four. If you notice in this set of numbers, they all share a relationship or a connection. The one points to the one here, the three points to the three here, and the four points to the four here. For instance, if I had the, put the number two plus two equals four, that would not be a related fact because the one and the three is missing from the number sentence or equation. Let's try another example. Say I have the numbers nine plus eight, which is equal to the sum of 17. If I reverse these set of numbers, I'm going to find my related fact, which would be eight plus nine is equal to 17. Did you know that related facts can be addition and subtraction. Let's see. Say I have 5 plus 4, which is equal to 9. If I want to find the related fact, I have to reverse the first two add-ins and put 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. But there is a related fact that I can use for these set of numbers, and that is 9 minus 4 is equal to 5, or 9 minus 5, which is equal to 4. But when I use subtraction, my larger number has to come first. Let's try another problem. Say I have 6 plus 4, which is equal to the sum of 10. Again, I'm going to reverse these numbers and put 4 plus six is equal to 10. When you reverse the numbers, you have to be careful. You cannot put 10 plus four or 10 plus six because that's going to give you a different sum. These add-ins are the only ones that you can change. Now let's look at the related fact in subtraction. That would be 10 minus six equals four. Notice that my numbers are still the same. The 10 is here, the six is here, and the four is here. Then I can do 10 minus four is equal to six. Let us have a look at this equation. I have an unknown number plus eight that's equal to 11. I also have eight plus three that is equal to an unknown number. My job is to find what answer I'm going to put into the unknown number. So I know you're thinking in your mind, oh, I can use the count on method to figure out my answer. In this case, I don't have to because I notice in these set of numbers that there is a related fact. If blank plus eight is equal to 11, then eight plus three is equal to this sum and all I need to do is put my three up here. So three plus eight is equal to 11 and eight plus three is equal to 11. We have another example with an unknown number. And this time we're going to find the related fact. Say we have 14 minus blank is equal to nine. I don't know what the answer is, but I do know that I can use the count on method to count up to 14 to find my missing unknown number. So here we go. We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 counters that I use to count up to 14. So 14 minus 5 is going to be equal to 9. If I write a related fact for this problem, it is going to be 14 minus nine is equal to five. Now I'm going to take this subtraction number sentence or equation and turn it into a related fact 
but this time using addition. So it's going to be five plus nine is equal to 14. And I can also write another one, which is nine plus five is equal to 14. Let's try one last problem. Say we have the numbers 12 minus blank, which is our unknown number, which equals to the number eight. In order to find my answer, I'm going to use 12 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to then cross out eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am left with four remaining. One, two, three, four. Therefore, 12 minus four gives me a difference of eight. Now let's write a related fact for this number. We can do 12 minus eight is equal to four. Remember, I have to use the same numbers in the proper order. If I wanna make an addition related fact, that would be four plus eight is equal to 12, or eight plus four is equal to 12. 